Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of J Bros Cooking and today we're going to be making french fries. In honor of tomorrow, which is National French Fry Day. And we're kind of trying to um, keep up with the national holidays of food. So some of the food, national food calendars out there, there is something like every day of the year. Yeah, we're trying to pick the big ones like donuts and burgers and French fries, things that are pretty popular. Today we're gonna be showing you how to make some French fries. No. Really, really simple ingredient list. This is from Harbor Freight. I'm gonna tell you how lazy I was being because Harbor Freight is literally right up the street from my house and I didn't want to drive because it's like 118 this last week. Like we broke two records in there. I literally didn't want to drive up the street. So I ordered this and literally paid twice as much because I had to pay for shipping. This is kind of like, I feel like I could break this. I'm not like a strong man. Like John's pretty strong. I don't feel like I got the strength, but I feel like if I really wanted to, I could just like snap these handles. Yeah, it's a very poorly, cheaply made French fry cutter, but if you want to try to make french fries and you don't want to spend 30, 40, 50, I mean they are uh, they're over $100. This this honestly, this is $6 at Harbor Freight. 6 and change. And then if you ship it, you're going to have to pay about the same thing for shipping. So it'll be like it's about 15 bucks, just under 15 with shipping. If you go to like any fast food restaurant, your fries are, you know, typically as long as a regular potato and then you get the little short ones. This one you can't really fit as yeah. you can see, a full-size potato in here, so you kind of have to cut them in half. We're just gonna make small french fries. Yeah. So, we got potatoes, we got salt, we got oil for frying, we got a french fry cutter, and a knife will be just as fine. Let's go ahead and start peeling. Now, some people leave this, I mean, I've been to restaurants where they leave the skin on. If you leave the skin on, you're really not getting that much of the skin, you know? Yeah. Once the potato gets all cut up. All right, favorite french fry, go. I actually am a big fan of the In-N-Out french fries, but I think so long as you get them fresh, probably the one of the best french fries you ever get is McDonald's. As long as they're fresh. As long as they're fresh. One thing McDonald's got going on is their french fries are bomb. Yeah. I love them. So now if you don't want to spend the money on this, which I don't blame you, you can just get a sharp knife and kind of rough it. And John's going to teach you how to do that. So we're going to slice it horizontally all the way across. Probably about quarter inch thickness slices. Then we'll lay those slices on their side and cut quarter inch, quarter inch french fry sticks. So once we cut it that way, we'll take our slices. And cut ourselves some french fries. So we cut some up by hand. Now we're gonna run some through the little french fry cutter, although we hate to do it. We're gonna have to cut these in half. And we found that if you take the flat end and kind of stick it back here against this flat end, it seems to work a little bit better. And then you're just gonna kind of... All right, so we got our French fries all cut up. We're gonna add some cold water to this. It's gotta sit for, soak for about a half hour to at least an hour. It can go longer. Um, but I would say at least a minimum of a half hour to an hour. Our potatoes have been soaking. We're gonna go ahead and drain them in the sink. We gotta lay these fries out on our paper towels. Kind of get them dried up. Blot them dry. All right, we're gonna go ahead and light the fire. So we're going to put just about an inch to maybe two inches of oil across the bottom of the pan. Now today we're going to be doing a double fry on the french fry. So we're going to start with, we're trying to heat this oil up to right around 300 degrees. All right, our oil's heated up. Go ahead and start dropping these fries in. So today we're doing a double fry as we said. So these have been going for about five minutes at 300. So we're gonna pull them out so we can crank that heat up to 400 and put them back in. We got our oil back up to 400. We'll get these fries in there. 
Let them go to their nice and golden brown. All right, pulling out our french fries. They're nice and crispy, starting to get nice and golden brown. These went for what? I think another five minutes at 400. So we're 10 minutes total on cook time, not too bad. Joe's gonna hit them with some salt. All right, so we got our second batch of fries still frying up. While that's going, we're gonna whip up a little uh, fry sauce to go with the fries. I'm gonna take a little mayo here, approximately half a cup. I'm not really gonna measure it out. Three tablespoons of ketchup. About a teaspoon of mustard. It wasn't me. Teaspoon of vinegar. Now that's one of those things you really don't wanna guesstimate on unless you're like a big vinegar fan. Three tablespoons. Of sweet relish. Hit it with a little salt, a little pepper. Just you do you on that, however you like it. And then we're just gonna stir it all up. I gave the fry sauce a taste. It's pretty good, but I'm gonna throw in a little hot sauce just for the win. All right, so our fries are out of the fryer on the plate. We got some of our fry dip here. It looks a little lower. Someone's been munching it a little bit. Add that hot sauce. Perfect. We have more fries frying behind us, so you might be able to hear it. We threw them on the back burner. Kids are going to come out, and these are not going to be enough. So hopefully this isn't too annoying. We do have a little bit of this fancy cheese powder. Cheese powder. I ordered this online and it came. Like this is the smallest size I could find. There might've been a smaller one, but I don't know if I'm just gonna have to make like some homemade macaroni and cheese. So we're gonna add a little bit of the powder, throw the cover on, gonna give it a shake. Make some uh, cheese fries. Sh powder cheese I fries? I say, yeah, cause I wouldn't call these cheese fries. Give one a little try. The Cheeto fry. It's actually not too bad. It's pretty tasty. All right, guys, so this is our French fry video we're bringing you. We got our plain French fries. We got, we'll call them cheddar fries. How about that? Our cheddar fries. We got the fry sauce. Tomorrow is National French Fry Day. One of those ones you want to celebrate. Yes. And I gotta be honest, these fries really came out good. They did. I'm going for the fry sauce. Are you scared, John? I am. The cheddar fries are good. It's like a Cheeto and a French fry got married. Let us know in the comments below who's um, been in the mood for French fries and bought French fries and been disappointed. Let us know if you've made French fries yourself. And if not, where's your favorite place to get French fries? I'm going to say mine is McDonald's if yeah. they're fresh. I said the same thing. McDonald's and then in and out for me, probably. Yeah. And J-Box, you know what? Their french fries were very, every time I go to J-Box, I'm not saying they're my favorite fry, they are hot. The J-Box curly fry though. Ooh. And yeah, they're curly and fry. Ar Arby's Ooh. curly fry. We hope that in celebration of mm. National French Fry Day, mm. you'll take our recipe, you'll give them a try, you'll make you, self and your family, some homemade french fries. You won't be disappointed. Your kids will have fun doing it with you. And it really is a great, great recipe. Taste. Recipe. Taste. Taste and recipe. Remember, it's always better when you make it yourself. jbroscooking.com. Check out our merch and our cutting boards. What does John usually say? Thank you for watching. We appreciate your views. Have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Jbros out.